It's bigger. It's better. It's much more educative. It's the only platform in Kenya whereby high school students can share out their ideologies. Which other better way to do it than on the Great Debaters Contest? I'm your host, Chris Boru. And I'm Esperanza Kapanga. And the motion on the table today is patents for antiretrovirals should be abolished in, the part in developing countries. The school that's going to propose this motion is Gadri Mugal's High School. And the school that's opposing the motion is Cornerbrook High School. We're waiting to see what they have for us today. Proposal number one, you have three minutes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Beverly Namuma from Gadri Mogals, and I'm here to strongly propose a motion that states patents for antiretrovirals should be waived in the developing world. First, a patent is a legal right to be the legal manufacturer, seller, or distributor of a certain invention or a drug. To waiver is to do away or get loss of the, all the rights that you have. Give right to other people to use your invention. Developing walls. These are the third world countries to be specific, parts of countries in Africa, part of South America and Asia. Kenya being one of, one, one of the developing worlds, you can see how we are faced with the epidemic of HIV and AIDS. Remember that all of us are, are bound together as humans. We have to come together to support these people. And to my first point, affordability. Affordability, according to the price, price demand curve, we are told that if the supply is high, the prices are low. If the patents are removed from the developing worlds, we are able to manufacture or even distribute more drugs, hence the prices will be lowered for the developing countries to really access the drugs. And to my second point, the cost. Locally, manufacturing the products is cheaper more than importing. If you look at the way, according to the UNICEF, when you are want to buy the drugs from abroad, from abroad it costs 335000 to get a certain drug for one person in one month. And remember, 13.1 million people are infected with HIV and AIDS in the developing countries. As you can see, a good example is Dr. Murugu. He has invented or found out the cure of certain diseases due to the use of trees. If we locally produce these drugs, we are going to use the locally available materials which will reduce the price of production. And to my third, third point, waving away patents will enable everyone to have easier accessibility to these drugs. Remember, developing worlds like, the third, like Kenya, Somalia, Uganda, Tanzania, these people do not access the local drugs, the ARVs. Reason being because they have to wait a long time or they are faxed with economic barriers. So everyone should come together and waive away the patents. Thank you. Pastor Pose, I have three minutes to present your case. Quite in a state of euphoria, if you may ask me. I am opposing the motion that, that states that the patent for antiretroviral drugs should be waived in the developing world. Masharia Wairegi, the Cornerbrook School. On to my first point. To be, to be dynamic is to look at a situation from all perspectives, from all points of view. This is from above, below, and all round. I am about to be dynamic. The motion that states that the patent for antiretroviral drugs should be wavered into the developing world. This is due to patents. Pharmaceutical companies are enabled to safeguard their existence. According to the IPR, this is the intellectual property right, exists for several purposes, not least of which is to ensure monetary reward for the patents of the company. Existence of the company is for business. These pharmaceutical companies are strictly Cavalier attitude towards business. What I do mean is they only have a profiteering aim. They do not can, care about the end consumers. Who are the patients? So the wavering of the patents to the, to the developing world, which are the third world countries, this will put them out of business. Every business knows that the shareholders are the beholden of the company. So what will happen when you put 500 million US dollars to 2,000 million US dollars 
to drain by sharing it with other developing world. This starts according to Hubble, which is the 10th largest pharmaceutical firm in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I use 500 million US dollars. I use 200, 2,000 million dollars. In Kenya, equivalent, 2 billion Kenya shillings. Wave it to the rest of the world. I give out the right to be the only person manufacturing the drug. What will happen to my company? Widespread. The target of the ARVs are for the HIV aid patient. According to Global HIV, there are over 25.6 million people living with HIV AIDS in Sub-Saharan Africa, which entail of more than 86% of the developing world. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we would call an attempted suicidal note. Thank you. I can propose that you have three minutes for rebuttal. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Angela Ndwati, and I'm here to strongly propose the motion that states patents for antiretrovirals be waived into the developing world. I'd like to correct my friend here. The companies who are starting for the local manufacturing of drugs are not for business. No, they're to save the worlds of our people. People dying from HIV and AIDS. So it's not about business or anything, but it's about the welfare of our people. To my first point, patents being weighed for the developing countries will create employment opportunities. According to the study of the United Nations Human Development Index, 39.1% of Kenyans are unemployed, in which 14 million of them are skilled and still unemployed. So if us developing countries are given a chance to manufacture our local drugs, it will not only help people suffering from HIV and AIDS, but also will open doors for all people who have the quality in the research and production of these drugs. So I'll ask you all, please, if I'm not able to convince these people to please waive these patents for our developing countries, you should. To my second point, it allows development of local production of drugs. I'm going to give an example of two countries, Ghana and Accra, who are given the permission to be local producers of these drugs. And their economic and also their local production has been a massive hit. So why don't us as developing countries be given that chance? Why can't we as developing countries, can we not be given that chance to be best in what we do? I want to ask you a law question. Is it good to deny a dying man from medicine? Is it right? All we need is a chance. A chance to save our people who are dying. A chance to be able to give ARVs or antiretroviral drugs to the dying people in our country. I believe it's greed or even selfishness for developed countries to not give us a chance as developing countries to produce our own drugs. So I'll ask you all and I'll urge all of you to give developing countries a chance. It's not about how developed or how facilities you have, but it's about the people that are endangered here. Yes, you're the inventor, but does, that does not mean that you're supposed to be the owner when all around you see people are dying. It's all about being kind and caring to all people suffering from HIV and AIDS. I agree, you're the inventor, but please help us as the developing countries. Thank you. <laughs> I can oppose I have three minutes for your rebuttal. Isaac Samir, ladies and gentlemen, from the Conabrook School. Firstly, I'd like to correct my counterparts. First one said lack of accessibility. Yes, I understand that this, you might complain that, but we can correct this. We can correct this. You cannot come to my company and blame me for being selfish while I put a lot of money, a lot of my money, I put it down, I come up with a drug, and then you come and tell me to share it, okay? And you can't say that you, you want a chance to do what you're best at. Now, I'm going to be point blank. Developing countries are not best at making drugs, okay? If they were best, then we'd be the first people to come up with these drugs, okay? You can't, because developing countries do not have the technical know-how, that's one. They don't have the quality education, that's two. 
and they also don't have the financial support to make or come up with the infrastructure of uh, developing these drugs. Now, let me go to my first point. Waiving of these patents will reduce or rather remove an incentive to these drug producing companies because once they realize that developing countries are not beneficial, they will not have that incentive, they'll not have that motive of coming up with the drugs. People will be dying like the way you're crying about. Now, people are dying and there's a cure. What happens if there's an epidemic and the people who produce, who are able to produce these drugs don't produce it because there's no profit? What happens then? Who are you going to complain to? Now, I'm going to give you three unintended consequences of waiving these patents. One, there'll be reduction in research and developments for more innovative uh, drugs or more innovative ARVs, okay? The second thing, it will send a message to any or all the drug developing countries that developing countries are not profitable because in the end of the day, I will need food in the table. You can't tell me to put because making this drug is not cheap, my people. Making this drug is very expensive. There is no way you'll come and tell me that because I have a bigger heart, I will put all my money in an investment and then I come and give it to everyone for free to come and copy. In the end of the day, I will need income. I'll need to feed my children. I need to feed my people. Okay? Now, the third thing is that pharmaceutical companies will be made resentful and less amenable to future public-private um, initiatives. What do I mean? These pharmaceutical companies will not have that initiative to come and sort out the developing world. You know, you sh we should be thankful for these countries that they're actually considering us as developing countries, that they're actually selling these drugs to us. What happens when they realize that there is no income and then they don't sell it to us after all? Who are we going to complain to? Now, consider this. Patenting of ARVs. It should not be waived because it's mine. I came up with the invention. You have no right to come and tell me to give it to anyone. No right at all. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. For the question session, the proposers have been asked whether the local production of antiretrovirals is enough to cover the global burden of the HIV infection, while the opposers have been asked whether suggesting that the developing countries should continue importing ARVs is just increasing onto the problems that they already have. <laughs> Proposer number three, you have three minutes to answer the question and present more cases. I'm Roli Nwaswa from Gadrimu Gas. Uh, my answer to your question is, yeah, it can be able not only for, the, for, not only for our own country, but to the other developing countries such as Asia, South Africa, and also India. And this will not only, benef be, will not only reduce their cost, but also benefit them and those who are suffering from HIV and AIDS. If we remove these patents, we are going to develop as a nation. First, there will be easy accessibility to these ARV drugs because we all know that, that the problem we have of importing goods, isn't it? So if we, if we have these local manufacturers in our own countries, there will be easy accessibility to these drugs rather than you having the cost from, to move from Kenya to other developing worlds to get the medicine. To my second point, according to the statistics, did you know that in the year 1981, we had 25 million people suffering from this HIV and AIDS infection. And in the year 2007, we had an increment of 233 million people suffering from HIV and AIDS. Totally in general, Africa, we have 11.9 people suffering from HIV and AIDS. And out of all these, only 2.99 million are receiving the ARV drugs. Therefore, this pattern should be removed. We don't need more deaths. We love our people, we love our nation. If you guys don't want to give us drugs, you keep, them, you keep producing them. Who will use it? Who? You want people to suffer? Who will use your drugs? To my third point, we all know that we need to work as a team. We don't have to, de to develop the spirit of greed. We are all one. We are all one, and we use this term 
to support each other. The word team. Team, I'll start by breaking it down to four letter word. We have the letter T, which stands for togetherness. Letter E, that stands for everyone. Letter A, that stands for acquire. And letter M, that stands for more. So together, we can acquire more. Therefore, our government should join charities work, foundation, and schemes such as PEFR, that's an international plan, Evelyn Taylor, and Elton Jones. Together, we can tackle this disease. From these schemes, we can get the money. This money, we can buy the ARV drugs at a market price. Then we can distribute them to the infected people. So the patents should be removed so that we can live in peace and have harmony. Adoposa, you have three minutes to answer the question. Jordan Minyoki from the Cornerbrook School here to oppose the motion that states patent of ARVs should be waived in the developing world. Firstly, let me answer your question. The reason why we have to keep on importing these drugs rather than manufacturing. Are you aware of a term called cost-benefit analysis? When it comes to the manufacturing of these drugs, we need to put up industries. We need to put up hospitals. We need to train the staff. There's so much that has to be done over a short period rather than importing. Importing is faster. It's just a small deal that's going to happen and the drugs will be in your country and it will be more effective. This is millions you're talking about, yet we still don't have the, the drugs in our streets. The reason why developed countries have to keep on their patent, they have to keep their patents and not give the developing countries is due to the maturity level of the developing countries. Take this for example. A developed country is like a parent. A developing country is a student, is, is a child. Developed countries are able to cope up with some problems that developing countries cannot cope up at all. And it's better to keep these patterns because us ourselves can cope up. Tell me a developing country that can raise two million dollars just to carry out research on a drug. That's very impossible. So it's better for us to keep these patents to ourselves rather than giving it to a country that is attempting to solve a problem that is not there in the first place. Or a problem that is there and they can't do anything about it. For us, as the developed countries, the reason why they keep the, 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 the patents is because developing countries, as they have said, is the la have the largest population of infected people. The, the reason why they keep the patents is because it's a prof profiteering they're profiteering by selling the patents to the developing countries. These developing countries are the marketplace. So if you come and tell me that I'm supposed to give out my patents to the, to, to the countries that is supposed to feed me, it's like all the money that I'm investing in, I'm just giving it back to my competitors. What would be the essence of business? Would there be business in this world? That any idea or innovation that I come up with I have to give it to the second or third party. There will be no technological advancements in this world which will kill the incentive of making these drugs. So please, ladies and gentlemen, please, ladies and gentlemen, let us encourage these countries because they have the capability of doing the research and coming, out to the, to the, coming up with a solution to the problems that we have. Thank you. Proposers, you have one minute to give your final submissions. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. Two of my counterparts have just said that why should they give us the patents and they are used to feed them? Ladies and gentlemen, are we here to produce the ARVs to help the others or only for selfish gains? You can also agree with me that these people are selfish, totally selfish, because they only mind about their own welfare. They want to feed their own families, their own people. Why can't they be humane and help even the others? And as I complete, my ladies and gentlemen, all patents should be waived. According to the 2009 
UNICEF report, 66% of people in the developed countries are not getting the ARVs. This number is really frightening. Ladies and gentlemen, I speak with a heart of pain. I speak with a heart so moved that everyone should be, these patterns have to be waived. Let us also manufacture, let us also be the producers of this drug to reduce the number of people dying. <laughs>